Hello friends, in this video, I will cover how you can leverage ChatGPT in order to land the job of your liking and dreams. Now, what I will cover in this video is how you can use ChatGPT to construct your application, which includes resume writing, cover letter. Second is how you should go about applying, which includes application on LinkedIn, but also how you go about writing a cold email or a cold message. And lastly, how you can use ChatGPT in order to prepare for an interview that you go and ace. Now, in case you find any value from this video, I have two requests for you. One, press the like button as this keeps you motivated. Second, press the subscribe button so you get notified as soon as I put a new content on this channel. Now, on this channel, I post content twice a week pertaining to career and financial success for early and mid-career professionals. Now, let's keep rolling in the video. Now, in the application process, the first thing to work on is the resume. So let's construct a resume which is relevant with regards to the job description. And the reason you want to make your resume relevant to the job description is twofold. One is it's important for the recruiter to know that whatever role they are hiring you or hiring a particular individual for, your resume matches that job description. But other than that, there are many times that recruiters use a software to sift out resumes or, or to shortlist resumes. And these softwares make use of keywords in the job description in order to shortlist your resume. So if you make use of ChatGPT to write your resume in accordance with the job description, then you will ensure that your resume captures those keywords, which will be identified by the software and hence the software will ensure that your resume gets shortlisted and not sifted out. So here's what I suggest. You go on ChatGPT and write, write resume achievements with metrics based on the job description and then give some space. Then we go on the job description. Here I have the job description where make sure you post only the relevant parts in the job description. So for instance, the job description also has qualifications and their corporate exempt roles and the salary and the range and what the company stands for. You don't need all that. You just need the key job description. You come back and you paste it here and then you press enter. Let me go down and see. Now here ChatGPT is giving you some key lines that you can add in your resume. Now, of course, you won't be able to capture everything in your resume. You also need to see which parts are relevant for you. However, this will kind of give you an outline. I would recommend you go one by one through each of the outlines that are provided and see if you've done anything of the similar sort in your past experience. And if you have, then just copy paste this, tailor it in order to match your personal experience and then put it in your resume. So for instance, if you've led companies long term planning process and you were part of setting the pricing strategy during that long term planning process, you can simply use this bullet two and copy paste. Of course, you may need to change the numbers here a bit. Maybe it was a five year plan. Maybe it didn't result in exactly 10% improvement in profitability and so on and so forth. However, this will give you kind of a guideline in terms of the bullets that should be included in your resume. So your resume becomes more relevant for the job description that is posted. Now, another way you can use chat GPT is you write share key skills from the following job description. And here the idea is that when you're going through a job description, it is very heavy on words. It has a lot of fluff and it's very difficult to sift through what are the key elements or the top five skills that the job description or the hiring manager is looking for. However, ChatGPT can help you skim or sift through the most important information that you can plug out and then you can use those key skills or keywords in your resume. So here, let's see what did we get. Yeah, so we got these five inputs, pricing strategy, development and planning. So this could be one keyword that you may want to use in your resume. Similarly, technological infrastructure development. So something around technology and infrastructure development that can be also put in your resume. Consumer insight and analytics, process improvement and automation, so on and so forth. So you can ask ChatGPT to give you these exact keywords or exact skills that the job description is looking for and then make sure that you capture them in your resume. So in case you don't want ChatGPT to give you exactly the resume written as is because you may have a strong resume for that matter. 
However, you would still want to improve your resume by making sure that the keywords and key skills are mentioned in the resume that the job description is looking for. Now, before I move further, I do want to call out that I have a video on my channel where I talk about how you can write a winning resume. Make sure you check it out because I call out some very special and important techniques and tricks that you can make use of in order for your resume to stand out. So check out that video. Now, second, something which I don't like is writing cover letters. It, I just hate writing cover letters and I hate those applications where cover letters are required. However, if they are required, it's always good to submit it because there's someone who may be looking through the cover letter and in case you don't submit, submit the cover letter and you only submit the resume and there's someone else who's submitting the cover letter, then there's a chance that the recruiter or the hiring manager may prefer them over you assuming you guys have the same kind of profile just because they've put in more effort. So let's see how you go about writing a cover letter. So here we'll simply write, write a cover letter using my resume and job description. So here first paste your resume. So I'll go here, I'll copy paste my resume. I'll call it out resume. And then job description and let's see what it produced i am writing to apply for the pricing leader position at your company see it even calculated my years of experience here if i go up with over 15 years of experience this is a calculation that it did by itself I have nowhere mentioned 15 years on my resume. I did mention the dates for each of the roles. And then it talks about the current role as a pricing leader in the company and so on and so forth. So here you go. You have a complete cover letter. Just copy paste and put it in your application. Now the most important part, which I call out repeatedly on many of my videos that I posted on my channel is that you cannot just rely on LinkedIn or that application button on LinkedIn or on online pages, assuming that when you click apply, there will be someone who will read your resume and they will call you for interview. That never happens. Even if you have the best resume, that rarely happens. Now it may happen because they may send the resume either to a software who shortlists you because you have the keywords, or maybe there's someone by luck or chance go through your resume and they like it but I would not rely on luck or chance. So what you need to do is you need to go and make sure you find a relevant person in the company who you can approach and request for you to pass on your resume at the right desk or the right uh, person or whoever is hiring. Now for this matter, I've made a special video where I talk about this way of applying in any company, making sure you find a network, a reference who can help you. So check out that video where I explain how you should go about looking for a relevant network who you can make use of. But now let's assume you've gone through that video and you know who to reach out in terms of your application. In that case, you will need to write them a cold email or a cold message on LinkedIn. So let's go to ChatGPT and ask them to help you write a cold message or cold email for that particular job to that particular individual. So here I'll say, write me a cold message for this job to Mr. Jorg Miner. Jorg Miner used to be my previous manager at Procter & Gamble, so I just used his name. There you go, we have it. Although I don't like it just because it is too long and as I've spoken in the video that I referred, that people don't have time to read long messages, long emails, especially if there are cold emails and cold messages from someone they don't know at all. So make sure it is shortened. So here I will try again. Let me go up. Write me a short, sort of short, cold message. There you go. This looks good. This is short and nice and concise. So I will use this again. You need to tailor it. Make sure you read through it. There might be something which ChatGPT may have assumed, but you don't want to add. So make sure you read through it. 
edit it and then just copy paste it and fingers crossed. Now let's assume the individual you sent out the cold message to, they respond, they pass on your resume to the right individual or the recruiter or the hiring manager and you end up getting a call for an interview. Wow, good news. But now the work begins, which is you need to prepare for the interview. So let's see how we can make use of ChatGPT to help you prepare for the interview. So I will write list key areas that the recruiter will explore in the interview for the following job description and then paste the job description. So here it talks about pricing strategy is one. The candidate experience and expertise in developing and implementing pricing strategy will be significant topic of discussion, the rec recruiter. So here it is guiding you that you need to prepare some examples around pricing strategy, some examples around portfolio productivity, some examples around leadership. They may ask the candidate experience in managing and developing people. So think of examples around that as well analytical skills, commercial excellence, and so on and so forth. Now, most probably such interview would be around behavioral questions. For behavioral questions, I have a separate video made on how you should go about tackling and answering behavioral questions. So check out that video. But net net, what you need to understand is, is that these are the key areas which the recruiter will be exploring in the interview. So make sure you have an example around it. Now we can go a step further and even ask ChatGPT to give us some sample questions that we should expect to be asked by the recruiter for this particular job. In the end, you will be using the same five elements that were previously called out by ChatGPT in terms of areas that you need to make sure you know of because those are the areas that will be explored by the recruiter. So you need to have examples around it. But here it has listed down a couple of questions that you can use as a practice. So you can assume this is a question that the interviewer is asking and then see which example out of those five areas that you've thought of and then how you would go about answering this particular question. Now, last but not the least, what you can also do is ask ChatGPT to tell you what are the questions you should be asking. Now, before I write the prompt in ChatGPT, I highly recommend you check out the video which I have made on reverse interview questions because I'm sure what you will get out of ChatGPT would be very standard kind of questions that you should be asking. But what I cover in the video that I prepare are questions that you should be asking depending on what is your internal motive. If it is that you are desperate for the job, then there are completely different set of questions that you should be asking. If it is that you are just exploring and making sure you want to understand better the company before you decide whether you want to join or not because you're not desperate, let's say, then there are different set of questions you should be asking. So make sure you check out that video as well. But now let's see what ChatGPT has to tell us in terms of what we should be asking the interviewer. Here you go. As I said, like these are very standard questions. Can you tell me about company's pricing strategy? Uh, fine, boring. How does the company measure and track SQ productivity? Okay, boring. Because it may not be the hiring manager who's taking your interview. It's maybe some other HR person who has no clue about SQ productivity and they may struggle to answer this question. Company culture. This is a good one. This is a good one. I may use this one. But again, as I highly recommend you check out the video that I've made on reverse interview questions and I'm sure you'll find good and a lot of value from what I've shared in those videos. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully by now you realize that you have a friend who can help you ace the interview. And that friend is not just me, rather it is also Chad GPT. In case you found this video helpful, I'm sure you will also find another video on my channel helpful where I talk about how you can answer question around conflict resolution. So check that out. Other than that, there is another video that I've made on how you should go about answering or handling a question around failure. Check that video out as well. Thank you.